I'm Rachel Downey. Welcome to Recruiter TV, brought to you by the Technology and Recruitment Alliance and sponsored by Smart Recruit Online, the UK's first fully automated online recruitment toolkit for recruiters and HR professionals. In this month's Back to Work Bulletin, we start with a recent survey of 500 businesses with more than 250 employees across 13 different sectors that has found many employees are choosing to work past the traditional retirement age of 65 to make up for the shortfall in pension payouts. However, it has been found that 92% of UK business leaders openly admit they do not invest in training and development for employees over the age of 60. This shows UK businesses are overlooking valuable skills and opting not to invest in the growing generation of older workers, with big businesses generally the most to blame. However, there is some good news for younger employees. A government campaign has been set up to target employers with a £1 billion youth contract. The package will support half a million opportunities to help 18 to 24 year olds into work. The government will offer a £2,275 cash incentive for those employing a young person who has been out of work for six months or more. Barclays is also getting involved in the movement. According to Barclays HR Director Lynn Atkin, apprenticeship schemes need to be made simpler and more accessible. Barclays is currently piloting an outreach programme where its business clients have the opportunity to take on Barclays apprentices to provide work-ready young people aimed at reducing unemployment issues and driving growth. Barclays have already taken on 500 apprentices and aim to have 1,000 by June 2013. Let's take a look at employment in general. Although many sectors have been affected by the recession, including the retail sector, and despite the news of three large brands already going into administration this year, there is a positive outlook on the official labour market. The number of young unemployed is materially falling and overall vacancies have shifted upwards. According to the Reed 2013 Salary and Market Insight report, 39% of employees are seeking a new job role in 2013, with 74% feeling secure in their current position of employment. Reed reports a 10% increase in job opportunities year on year for the last two years, with the indication that businesses feel more secure in workforce investment. Renault is set to cut about 7,500 jobs in France by 2016 as the car maker continues to struggle with falling sales and profits. At the same time, car manufacturer Jaguar Land Rover are pushing ahead with plans to recruit another 800 staff for its Oxford and Coventry plants as demand continues to rise for its export businesses to South America, Asia and China. According to new research conducted by Asbury Marsden, 22% of city workers are not expected to receive a bonus of any kind this year. This is a double increase from 2012, Mark Cameron, Chief Operating Officer, told us. And finally, the FSA has recently warned the chairs of bank remuneration committees that they expect 2013 pay levels to be below those of previous years. This is an unprecedented move and shows just how far the government and its regulator are willing to go in order to force down banker bonuses. I'm Rachel Downey, speaking for Recruiter TV, brought to you by the Recruitment in Technology Alliance and sponsored by Smart Recruit Online, the UK's very first fully automated online recruitment solution for recruiters and HR professionals.